What was the fucking door? It was his last shot, and he didn't perform. It's a serious problem. No lie, our chef walked out. They're shutting down the kitchen. After shutting down dinner service, Chef Ramsay calls an emergency meeting with the owners. You cannot continue like this. I'm trying my best, and I cannot work with no tools in there. He's a cook, but he's not a chef. There's a lot of money invested here, and if I have to choose between a future and a chef, I have to choose the business. He needs to go. We need a new kitchen leader. It was a no-brainer. Please. Give me a real chef. I am willing to bring a chef in here and pay personally for that chef to help turn this business around for the first month. But that's your decision. You can't ask for more than that. You're the owners, and it's your call. See you in the morning. We had to make a quick decision. We couldn't let it linger on. We had to rip the Band-Aid off, you know? Come outside. At this point in time, if I don't do something, it's not going to be here at all. They can't lose a million dollars. You know what? I think it's all fucking bullshit. We should go whatever direction we have to go in. Do what you got to do. That's all I can tell you. Do what you got to do. You got to move on, my friend. That shit's not good enough. Let him find somebody else, because I'm fucking done with it. It's time for a 360, you know? Getting rid of Eric, it was tough. But what's best for the restaurant is the way I'm going to go. He's not the only thing that has to change here. He definitely is not the only thing. I need to get back on my feet and start paying attention to the business. And Joe does also. It's got to be becoming about keeping this place open and money. Joe and I need to keep this place going. Give it a golden opportunity. This place can be phenomenal. The location is extraordinary. This is a new start. It's you empty. have to treat it as a new beginning. Of course. I mean, in a perfect world, I would sacrifice one of your managers to employ Vikas. You cannot carry driftwood in your no. business. Out of the three managers, one has to go. Between you and I, Martin has an amazing way of manipulating you and he is not worth his weight in terms of what he brings to the table. Hearing Gordon Ramsay say that to Mohammed, that makes me upset and angry. The frustration just boiled over. Can I make this here? Tonight, yeah. tonight Mohammed, yeah. I've never used you, I, I've respected you, yeah. I'm proud of what we've done, I've never cheated you. Excuse and me. I take what, what, what's, what's going on? You are asking no, for, for, for management. Can you're not you recommending, you're not recommending. You are in, you're enough, just, I've had enough. Okay. Because okay, just, you've been just, insulting, I, you've been accusing me of, 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 of achieving this bad. Did you hear what I just said to him? Martin. So, let, let, let him go. Go on. Get it out. No, I'm Get off the chest. That you for the first time since I met you, show me that you're a man. You've accused me of riding on this man's shoulders. Why are you pointing like that? Because, not I, because like I'm him. angry, OK? You want to see passion? Good. I'm giving you passion. This person I've respected. Yeah. And you've had the audacity to accuse me of, like, taking his money... Riding off his back. Riding off his back yeah. is, 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 is what you've said. Well, that is disgusting. You have no right. You don't know that. What about no. you? What about, what about you? I have nothing to be guilty of. You what? Nothing. You sat in it. It's rotten! Yeah. You ran it. You sat in it. Yes. You wasted it. Yes, I wasted it. Yes. You encouraged it. You it wasn't always like this. We, it it, it spiraled. This it spiraled out of control. Yeah. And I You've asked you guilty. to come on board. I'm glad. Not guilty, Mohammed. I'm not guilty. What are we on now, Ashley? I'm still waiting on chicken piccata with panay marinara and individual kids' pepperoni pizza, half order spaghetti with meat sauce, eggplant parmesan with angel and meat, chicken piccata, angel with marinara, three chicken parms, and a veal parmesan for just one table. I felt like crying because it was that embarrassing for me. Eric. Yes, sir. Yeah, can I have your undivided attention? Sure. Nothing's happening. We've served one table of four, one table of two. For the last three tickets, half the order's gone out. Half 
half is still on the board. You haven't got a clue what's going on. You're running around crazy. What chance have we got serving one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tables? You asked for one more cracker at lunchtime. Let me go, big boy. Let me go. I want to do it again. We're spinning around and serving shit. Do me a favor, close the fucking restaurant. I can't stand any longer and watch that embarrassment. As of now, we're not going to be serving any more dinners tonight. I need the door fucking closed. Forget it. All right. We're done for the night. This is a joke, guys. You're pissed off, you're frustrated. Forget it. Good night. What restaurant stops their business and tells everybody that they have to leave? There's no excuse. I don't even know where to start with a chef that can't even cook something basic. Why are you employing a chef that is that incompetent? Darling, he's not in the slightest bit interested in fucking making it work. He doesn't give a fuck about his cooking. He doesn't give a fuck about you. And he's here for one thing and one thing only. Hey, money. Jack. And the only restaurant that fucking guy will ever get a job is in a restaurant that doesn't have any customers. Have you got any chance of surviving here? Get rid of him. What are you scared of? Talk Nothing. to me. There's well, got to be something. Where am I going to? I need to find another chef. So, Drew, what's wrong with Drew? Drew, I think, can carry it off. So, get rid of him. OK. Go. Fuck me. Unfucking believable. Hey. Come here. I'm sorry. I know. But no, you no, don't no, know. no, no, I feel bad. just wait a minute, just wait a minute. Jeremy, come I here. I feel bad. I feel real bad. The whole thing is this. This isn't the first time you've let us down. I don't. Know I just can't do it. I know, but I can't do it. Eric, I gotta make. You guys get your paycheck every week. Jeremy and I never take a dime out we of here. Shut up. What? I know, but I mean, the whole thing's just not gonna work because you. Okay, you, so what do you want to do? I. Don't we're gonna part ways. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Got fucked on that deal. He couldn't pull off lunch, couldn't pull off dinner, and so we just had to let him go. I can't, you know, I can't do this. With head chef Eric gone, Gordon is hoping sous chef Drew can rise to the occasion. That was a tough one tonight. Oh, very much. Yeah, so. yeah, very tough. Don't get down in the dumps. Tonight was shit. Very much. Clearly, so. at its best. But you don't need me telling you that, because that was embarrassing. Very much. Yeah? Is that how you run it? Hell no. Good. Tomorrow, we go again. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. I need you. All right. Yes? Thank you. Good night. Gordon caught Buzzard taking food and wine from the restaurant. And Gordon is not happy. Yeah, Talking about you. Yeah. With yeah. you. No, you're not, I'm not, not there, OK? You know this lady owns it. Right? Unbelievable. We were thinking that he was doing that, but I hadn't caught him in the act. And today, well, there it is. Christ almighty, guys. What are we doing here? Just our basics isn't even together as a team. I can't take responsibility for, for the whole restaurant failing. It's, you know, this is the team effort here. Why did you become a chef? Because I have a passion for food, that's why. A passion for what? Food. You're making powdered mashed potato. You talk about the mashed potatoes. I didn't hear not one person complain about them tonight. Did you? What? Did you? When Ricky and Gordon were going at it, I really wanted to just, like, tell Ricky to shut up. Where's your respect? What do you mean, where's my respect? For your professionalism. You are not an executive chef. Let's get that right. Don't look at me like that. You back a dog into a corner, eventually, you know what I'm saying, he's going to bite, you know? I'd rather change my career than make it out of powdered mash. Anything you'd like to say before we go home? I just hope everybody's attitude changes tomorrow so we can turn this restaurant around. If you still have attitudes, then um, there's going to have to be some changes. It's day three, and Gordon is about to put his plan into action. But one of last night's problems has returned. Buzzer's here. Where is he? In the back. I hate to have to fire anybody. But then you get to the point where, you know, if I can't get them to change what they're doing or whatever, then I have to get rid of them. 
Can I see your eyes? Can you take your glasses off? Um, Buzzard, anything that's inside this restaurant belongs to Leela. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, end of story. Nothing gets taken off this premises. If it was up to me, I'd fire Buzzard's ass. I get lots of people stealing from me, and I just have one discipline. Anyone steals from me is out. End of story. Because the message you send, if they all see you doing it, they all do it. Anyway, Lena, you're the one who's got to make the decision. It's your yes. restaurant. Yeah. So, you know, I I'm sorry, but this is going to be it. All right? Oh. This is it. Buzzard ain't going to be back here. He ain't going to be buzzing around here. And he's truly a buzzard. Let me get my bag and my bangs. Okay. 